Okie dokie. Great problem here. In this problem, they give us four graphs and with all seemingly linear functions, but they ask us which of these could actually represent a linear function. So if you notice, on the axes, we have different numbers going on in these different graphs. So what we're checking for is which one of these is actually a linear function, which means that we're looking for the one that has a constant slope the entire time. So in other words, to check if A is a linear function, we want to make sure that the slope between these two points is equal to the slope between these two points. If the slope is equal between those two segments, then that means, or that'll be enough information to say it has a constant slope. So let's give it a shot. We can find slope by either using rise over run or uh, more algebraically, systematically, using slope formula. So like y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So I'll start with rise over run just to demonstrate that and then uh, use the actual algebraic formula. So for example, between these two points, we have a rise from 11 to 17. So that's 6. And then it runs, if we look at our x-axis, 6 to 8. So it's going over 2. So rise over run would be 6 over 2, which would give us 3. So then we just need to verify that the slope between these two points is also 3. If that is the case, this is a linear function. If the slope between these two points does not equal 3, then this is not a linear function because it doesn't have a consistent slope. So let's do... Um, y2 minus y1. So the y2 minus the y1 would be 19 minus 17 divided by x2 minus x1. So 19 minus 17 is 2. 9 minus 1. 2 divided by 1 is 2. So for the different segments, we have a slope of 3 and a slope of 2. These slopes are different. Therefore, this is not a linear function. So let's kind of clear this up a little bit here, and we'll keep going. So for the remainder of these, I will use rise over run because I think it's a faster method. So we're going to do it a little quicker here. Rise is 3 over the run to this point. I guess I'll do it up here. Here we go. Uh, the run is 2 from 6 to 8, so 3 halves is our slope. And if we repeat the process with the second and third point the rise is from 10 to 12 so 2 over a run of uh, from 8 to 9 which is 1 so 3 over 2 and 2 over 1 are not equal this can't be an answer i'll go ahead and cross off a like before and we move on to c so 7 to 9 rise over run would be 7 to 9 is 2 and then 6 to 8 is also 2 so we get a slope of 1 and then we check the second and third points here to here, we have a rise from 9 to 10, which is a rise of 1, and a run from 8 to 9 of 1 as well. And it looks like 2 over 2 is equal to 1 over 1 because they both equal 1. So it looks like C will be our answer. And just for fun, I'll go ahead and do option D. Rise from 27 to 37 is 10. Run is 2. So we get 10 over 2, which is 5. And then between the second two points, or I guess the second and third points, we get a rise of 6 from 37 to 43, and a run of 1 from 8 to 9. So that is, uh, you know, 6 and 5 is not equal to 6. All right. Hope this makes sense. Feel free to check out another example. I will also work out.